Hi there. If you remember last time, we talked about the Procreate 5.2 update and we touched on 3D, but we mostly talked about the accessibility features and all the other good stuff that was included. But today I want to focus on 3D. So I want to show you, first of all, where you can download the default 3D models that come with Procreate. So if you're in a document, in any document, so I'll just open a new one here with the plus sign. I'll just choose screen size. Now you come into the Actions tab and choose Help, and then there's What's New. So you'll, you can cycle through the What's New screens to see what is new in Procreate 5.2, but you'll see there's this Download here, Model Pack. So if you tap on that, that's how you download the default models, and Procreate will put it on your gallery screen. Something I want to show you as well, just so you can check that you're on what version number. If you tap Procreate in the top left, you get this screen and you see the version number here. So we want version 5.2. So let's go into this vase here just to show you a few things of how you can paint on 3D models. So in order to pan around the screen, you use one finger to sort of pan around the object and two fingers to zoom. So it's really intuitive. You'll get the feel for that very quickly. So now if I wanted to paint on this vase, I can just come in here and make sure that I'm within the base layer. You can even add a new layer on here. So you can use any brush you like on these um, models and they will work and they'll have a certain amount of shininess to them because they're built within the model itself. But there are certain properties that uh, make it better for 3D. So I've taken my glitter and foil effects and confetti brushes and turned them into 3D brushes to really crank up 3D properties. So these glitter and foil brushes are literally made for 3D. They're super shiny and reflective. And if you want to take a closer look, there's just a link below in the description. So that's a metallic lettering. That's a bonus in there. And we've also got this glitter 3D, which we can just paint on there just to give you an idea. So if you wanted to change the lighting in a scene, you can just come into the 3D menu. And it's worth noting that will only appear if you're within a 3D object. So you've got to have a 3D object open to get this 3D menu, and then you can choose Edit Lighting Studio. So what you can do is move these lights around the scene and bring them closer or further away to the object. You can still pan around as, as well and sort of see how that's looking on all surfaces. And you can even tap on the light and change the intensity, increase it or decrease it. And you can bring in even a bit of a color as well. So it gets a glowing color to the light. So you've got a lot of um, options there. And then environment, this allows you to cycle through some standard environments. So Savage is a really cool one that just, it's got a warm rosy glow to it. And then Auditorium, City. So they're quite different and they're quite, um, you know, they make big changes to how things look. So it's worth definitely checking out environment as well. And when you find one you like, you just just choose done. So I'm going to show you how you can put 2D textures on objects just using a an object I've made myself. So it's worth saying as well, Procreate's a 3D painting app. We're not able to sculpt in 3D. So you need the help of other apps if you want to sculpt. The file formats that are compatible are .obj, .usd or .usdz. So you can even download models online. So you, if you have a look in Google, there's a couple of websites that I've found that seem quite good. Um, there's this one called turbosquid.com. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. Um, there's another one called sketchfab.com. But just have a look online. You can see that you can download 3D models. It is worth noting there's a UV map issue that can arise. I found a way to work around that. Um, if you see the video linked in the top right right now, you'll see um, that there's another video I've created that shows you how to get that th through that UV mapping problem. So if you're interested in making your own models or importing other models, then that video is worth a watch. But you don't have to. This will work on any of those default models as well. I just want to show you this example. So basically, if we come into the Actions panel and go to the 3D menu, now you'll only see that if you have a 3D object open. So tap on the toggle Show 2D Texture, and then we just come in and add Insert file and this is the glitter and foil pack has loads of different textures. I'm going to choose this glitter yellow gold 
So we've imported that into the 2D area and then we're going to turn off this toggle and you'll see it's applied it to the object. So we've got that glitter texture sitting across all areas, all faces of the object, which is really cool. And then I can even come in, I'm going to add another layer on top and I'm going to choose the metallic lettering, which is part of the glitter and foil effects 3D brushes. It's a bonus brush. There's also a color palette. So I'm going to choose this gold and then you can come in, you can draw on top as well. What I'm trying to do is just draw on the front face of this object. So it's if you try and get the the face of that as front on as you can so that you don't bleed into the other surfaces. It's quite cool that you can draw on the other surfaces if you wanted to, but if you just want to draw on one, then you kind of have to spin the object around and move it as you go. But it's really easy to do that. And now you can see that beautiful gold texture is just, um, it's pretty insane how shiny and realistic it looks. And I'm just going to paint through so that we're getting that on the front face of this object. So there's amazingly cool things that you can do. Great, so now you can see how that's coming out. That uh, gold metallic brush is really shiny. That's this metallic lettering. And we've also got different 3D glitter brushes as well to play around with. They might not show up so much because we've got a glitter texture on this one, but if you go over it a few times, you'll see it increases in intensity. So you can see how that looks on this texture as well. So that adds a real glittery kind of shine as well. Right, so I want to show you a different way to apply another 2D texture now. So we'll go into the can this time. So once you're in the can and within the base layer, so there's different shapes in this particular object, but I'm going to want to put it on the surface. So I'm in base layer. I just want to add a file, just insert a file like you normally would and we'll choose this aquamarine texture. So now it's put it on the surface. I can move this around, so it's moving it around the face of the can, but I can also choose advanced and increase the size, and then it wraps it around the can beautifully. So, and then it even has sort of this fade off, so it looks really um, seamless. So that's another way that you can put on a texture. Awesome. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about painting 3D objects. Please leave a comment or a like below and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.